Hello, my name is Markus Sorrell, and I'm currently working on quadrotors. And here especially, we're interested in a quadrotor with more control inputs than average quadrotors do have. So usually, quadrotors have four control inputs to independently control the position and the yaw orientation. But we developed a new kind of a concept for a quadrotor, which has eight control inputs. So we are not only controlling the spinning velocity of the propellers, but the orientation of the propellers as well. And this gives us eight control inputs, so we can independently control the position and the orientation of our quadrotor. And this gives us many more um, possibilities to fly around, first of all. But what we are actually more interested in is doing things like service roboting. And this gives us the opportunity to exert forces in all directions. So not only uh, forces in the Z direction of the main body, but in all other directions. What our long-term goal is really is to fly and grab and pick objects, place them, exert forces, drilling holes, like really a normal service robot can do. And with this kind of concept of quadrotor, we will be able to do that. Can you give me an example of a use case where this quadrotor would be better than yes. a quadrotor without? So for example, an easy use case, and that's for example the, let's say, short-term plan is really to fly to an environment where you can would like to scan the environment but you don't have a pan tilt unit on your quadrotor but you can directly with this kind of concept reorientate the um, quadrotor and scan the environment without the necessity of a pan tilt unit and another and let's say this is more the long-term plan is for example really interacting with the environment there for example picking a hole or picking a screw somewhere, replacing that and repairing something. And that's something that is just possible with this kind of concept. And so what's the next generation going to be like? What are you working on now? So the next generation is an improvement of that one here. So you see that it's still really looking like a prototype. There are lots of cables around. And as well, the control frequency is very slow. So we want to make it more aggressive, more agile, and really be able to very accurately interact with the environment. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks a lot.